what's up everyone welcome back to the hardcore fab shop i am anthony bronner and on today's video yes we're back to work on hookers and blow our 1946 chevy rat rod record truck with the blower that is going to sema this year 2021 so if you guys are new to the channel so far what we have done is we have built our custom chassis for it we've got our cab mounted on there of course we got a four link airbag set up in the back we built a rat rod wrecker bed back there it's all framed in i still have to do some sides on that yet we've got our boom back there for the back and then inside the cab we have redone all the sheet metal in there to accept this motor and training being in that location and being up that high so all that sheet metal is done we've also taken a four-wheel drive front axle cut it and turned it into a two-wheel drive front axle and then set it all up with our cantilever air ride front suspension so that gets us to the point now in this video where it's time to actually go ahead and get a radiator mounted in this thing get a core support built because we can't go any farther without the core support so i got a lot of stuff there to figure out with that seems kind of simple but there's a lot going on so let me just show you what all is happening here and then i'll get to figuring out a way to make it all work So the first hurdle that we got across with putting the radiator in is finding a radiator. The front of these trucks narrow up a lot. They come to a point basically right out there on the very front. So it's tapering really good by the time you get out here to where the radiator is. So we're stuck with a pretty skinny radiator, but I think I found one that's actually going to be big enough to cool the truck and actually fit in the place that we're going to have to be able to mount. It. So that was the first problem to come up with. The next thing is going to be that the frame doesn't actually go out as far as where the radiator needs to go. The frame stops right here behind our cantilever mount. So I do have to build an extension off of that. I'm probably gonna do that on a round tube. So I need to figure out the exact location of where the radiator is gonna sit first before I can even start doing that. Before I can do that, I've gotta actually figure out the height of the radiator so I can make sure that it's going to clear the ground and also clear the top of the hood. So We've got all that to figure out, so I'm going to start off with just kind of sliding a wooden block in here and trying to kind of guess where it's going to go to begin with. Next, we need the hood to be able to fit on the truck and have the body line lining up and still clear that radiator. So, made this up here to hopefully line that all up and get it dialed in. If I need to, I can add a piece of plate of you know eight quarter, three sixteenths, whatever I need in there to kind of dial it in the rest of the way. All right, so it turns out if you support the hood out there on the end, the hood kind of gets a twist in it and then doesn't want to line up very good with the cab on the back there. But I've got a support on the side now and being supported on the side, I didn't actually even have to cut that board off, but it is what it is, that's part of the game. I've got stuff stacked in there now and everything lines up really good. The body line is really, really close to being perfect in line with the rest of it. And this looks really good back here now. This gap is looking great. So I'm really happy with that now. So we can move forward with trying to figure out the rest of it. So this is where it starts to get kind of complicated. We've got the blower on there, or we don't have, but we will have a blower on there. So we have to have room for the blower belt. We have to be able to service that, of course. And then we need to have fans on the radiator. And then on the other side of the radiator, I want to put a couple of shocks so that we can have shocks on our front end because I think we're gonna need those as well. So we have to make it strong enough to support the shocks and incorporate all that stuff in there. And then we also have to figure out a way to mount our grill to the front of it because I've got to have the grill. That's one of the key components of it. And we're obviously going to need some headlights to be able to drive this thing down the road. All right, so I think our piece of wood is actually working out pretty good. It's a eight by eight, I think is what it ends up being. Something like that. You guys see it. Anyways, 
eight inches off the ground is going to be plenty of ground clearance for us that's at ride height so we're good there we've got a lot of room in here around the radiator for the hood to clear so we're not going to have any issues there our cap is at the highest point of our water system so that's going to give us an ability to get all the air out of the system there so no problems as far as all that stuff goes and i think we've sit here with around seven inches from the front of the water pump to the radiator so that should give us plenty of room for our belt some fans and to be able to service everything so i guess now we can actually start making some tube to come out here and build a support to go underneath it So we spent all day yesterday messing with this and got some stuff figured out. There is, like I said, a lot going on here. We've got our main tubes up here to actually come up here and hold the hood up. I've got a plate cut that actually matches the front of the hood pretty good. I have to do the final trim on that when everything is all set in stone. But these are supported by a bar down here. Uh, let me show you here. So we got our main cross member in there and then I've came off of that down to here and then you can see it comes up here for the top bar and then on the side of that there's one coming off the front coming around and then we've got a little kicker in there to tie them together. Alright so our radiator can now obviously mount to these bars going up and our hood is going to be almost to the point where we can mount it. I'm going to go ahead and try to retain as much of the stock mounting locations for it as I can. And by doing that, we're going to leave a little button back there in the back where the middle pin here slides into. And then you've got the piece on the front that has the exact same spot where it just kind of slides into that center pin on the hood. I have to flip it up to put it in there, but you guys get the idea. So I can take and I can mount this through these holes here to the plate and then I can build something to come up here and catch those other holes and that should support the hood pretty good. So I'm thinking I'm going to use that and I think that'll work out pretty well. I would like to still try to retain the ability to flip the hood up from the side. I think that'd be a cool feature to have especially with the blower. I haven't seen a lot of people do that. Usually they have to come off and that might be for a reason but we're going to find that out later. And if it turns out where I can't just physically flip it up because there's too much stuff in the way then I'll probably end up having to cut the hood and I'll probably come back here and cut it somewhere in here. So I'll need all this stuff mounted anyways. But we'll have to figure all that stuff out later because I don't have the blower here and I can't go any farther with it without the blower. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna do now for the hood. And uh, I guess our next step is gonna be to figure out how to get our shocks in here. I need to cycle this around a little bit and pick a length of shock that's going to work good for what I wanna do and figure out a way to mount those, that should be pretty simple.
All right, might not look like much yet, but there's a lot going on here already. We've got our shocks mounted and we've got all of the provisions to be able to mount a radiator and mount our hood. This uh, plate right here will go on top of everything. Of course, we've got a cool Hardcore Fab logo in there. And then there's a place here for mounting our piece that's gonna actually hold the front of the hood. Still have to build a bracket back here to come up and catch the back side. All right, so some of you are gonna probably have some questions about my setup there in the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to answer any questions I can now for you guys. Starting off with a shock, it is a 32341. It's a Monroe shock, of course, obviously. And it is off of a 2500 or 2010, 2007, 2500 HD Chevy pickup, somewhere in that neighborhood. Anyways, the main reason why I went with that shock is because it had the right amount of stroke that I was needing. And it's also a bigger, heavier duty shock. And since they're kind of set inboard a little farther than I'd like to have them, because that was literally the only place I could put them with the setup that I have, hopefully the heavier duty shock will kind of help, you know, offset some of that extra leverage that Axel is going to have on it. So we'll just have to play that out and see how it does. And only some miles on it's going to tell us that. So I guess we'll figure out that in the future and see if that works. Now for uh, my tube, I end up using some inch and three quarter 120 wall DOM. If you guys know anything about tube, that's actually some pretty heavy duty tube there. So I don't think I'm gonna have to worry about that too awful much as far as going anywhere or anything. I am however going to put a strut off the back side of it going back to the cow or to the firewall area where the original strut was for the core support in the truck. And I'm mostly just doing that because we do have the shock mounted up there right high up on that bar. And that'll kind of help take some of that out of there if there is any kind of movement whatsoever. There's not going to be much because most of that shock is pushing straight up on the bar. But there is just a little tiny bit of leverage just a couple inches off the side of the bar. So anyways, I am going to do that to help support that just a little bit. We'll do that on the next video. Um, what else? The... Uh, Brackets and stuff that I did, that was all 3 16 I tried to do most all my stuff out of 3 16 And, huh, I guess that's about it. So I guess it's time to go ahead and do a shout out for another deserving YouTube channel. For this one for you guys, I've got Throttle Power. Throttle Power, he is over there doing some pretty cool builds with some model cars and things like that. He's also going to some car shows and some swap meets and different things and showing you guys what's happening there with some big cars. So pretty cool stuff over there. He just got done shooting a bunch of videos for the uh, Street Rod Nationals. That was a pretty cool show. I would like to go there next year, hopefully with hookers and blow. We'll see how it goes. So it was pretty fun to be able to see what's there this year and kind of have a little bit of an idea of what to expect in the future for next year. So that's pretty awesome. So I guess now, we can actually get this thing jacked up off the uh, blocks that it's on and I want to let it all the way down to the ground and see what this thing looks like. Woo! That was fun. <laughs> I uh, do just kind of have it rigged on there. I told you guys that in the past video that uh, there wasn't much there. Just some basic stuff from the hardware store, ball valve and a fitting for their line so we'll go ahead and try to rig it back on there again see if we can just get it to lift up and down a couple times or if uh, this just now isn't going to work so we'll see what happens oh, i actually took both sides of the line off on the t be nice if I had a hood prop. Alright, let's try it again. That went on super easy, so I'm not, uh, I'm not sure this is going to work, but we'll see what happens. Definitely not going to get underneath it, I know that. Eh, I don't think I got it all the way up either, but 
Oh well, you guys get the idea. A little smoother than the first time. Alright, I'm gonna try one more time and get you guys a good side view here. I'm putting my life in danger for you. Okay, well, I guess we're done with that. Alright, so that didn't quite work like I had it planned, but at least you guys get to see it down on the ground now, so that's pretty cool. And also, notice that the second duel, or the outside duel, it's not even the outside duel, it's the same ones that were on there. I went ahead and flipped them around the other direction so you guys can see what it looks like if it was to have all four of them on there, which it will. Everybody keeps asking me if it's going to have duels or whatever. I feel like it has to have duels, so that's what it's getting. No super singles or anything like that, it will have four tires across the back of it. So I can't wait to go ahead and get those on there. Can't wait to get the bedsides on there. And of course, getting this thing running and driving out tearing up the street. But that's all going to have to happen on another day because we're out of time for this one. So I guess I'll see you guys on the next one.